we continue to look at these words and their meaning so in the C6 syllabus. Element of a set, a member of a member of or an object in a set. Empty set. The empty set is a set that has no elements. It is denoted with the symbol. And you see that symbol there. Equally likely. In probability, when there are the same chances for more than one event to happen, the events are equally likely to occur. Right? Example, if someone flips a fair coin, the chances of getting head or tail are the same. There are equally likely chances of getting heads or tail. The word... The, the, the effective word there is fear, a fear coin. You don't spot weld something on one side of the coin or put some invisible glue, glue on one side or bend it so that one side is more likely to, to play, right? This must be a fear coin. Equation, a statement that says two mathematical expressions have the same value. So in that case, you have an equal sign. Equilateral triangle, a triangle with three equal sides. Equilateral triangles have three equal angles of measure 60 degrees. You know that all the angles, the three angles add up to 180 degrees, so each must be 360 degrees if they are equal. 60, I mean, each must be 60 degrees if they are equal. 60 times three, gives you 180. Estimate. The best guess for an unknown quantity arrived at after considering all the information given in a problem. Alright. That's an estimate. Event. In probability, an event is a set of outcomes of an experiment. For example, the even A may be the well, the event A they should write. May be defined as obtaining two heads from tossing a coin twice. So that's an error there. We say the even A, but it should be the event A. Alright. Expected value. The average amount that is predicted if an experiment is repeated many times. Alright. So that's it. Expected value. It keeps happening over and over, so you expect that the next time it will occur. Experimental probability. The chance of something happening based on repeated testing and, observ and observing results. It is the ratio of the number of times an event occurred to the number of times tested. For example, to find the experimental probability of winning a game, one, one must play the game many times, then determined by the number of games won. By, by the number of games played. Divide the no then divide by the number of games won by the number of games played. Alright, so in that case, it's not like you have a formula. You can calculate the probability. You have to observe it many times over and over for example you have the probability of a hurricane passing through the caribbean or entering the caribbean is not something you can sit down and calculate you look at what has been happening over the years and then you um see the probability of it occurring next time from those information all right exponent the power to which a number or variable is raised for example 5 squared is 25 when you say 5 squared you write the 2 as a superscript and the 2 is the exponent um, exponential function 
a function that has the form y equal a to the x where a is any real number and is called the base. So remember a is a constant in this case and x keeps changing. Exterior angle. The exterior angle of a polygon is an angle formed by a set by a side and a line which is the extension of an adjacent side right so you will see more on that at a later date as you go on through the syllabus right factors the factor of a whole number are those numbers by which it can be divided without leaving a remainder the factor of an algebraic expression a are those e expressions which when multiplied together results in a for example x and 3 minus y are the factors of 3x minus 3y okay good so the numbers the factors remember one is a factor of any number and the number is a factor of itself but the other factors would be those small numbers that can go into it without leaving a remainder now those big numbers that it can go into without leaving a remainder are the multiples so don't confuse them well of course the number is going to be a multiple of itself too all right factorize the process of rewriting an algebraic expression as a product of its factors for example 4x square minus 4y square when factorized may be written as 2x minus 2y 2x plus 2y all right so you see the difference of two squares here in the 4x square minus 4y square to factorize completely it is to rewrite an expression as a product of its prime factors for example 4x square minus 4y square when factorized completely is 4 x minus y x plus y so you see what you have here well, was not factorized completely it was only partially factorized so when you reach here now you cannot take out any other factor All right okay frequency the number of items occurring in a given category so when you're plotting a histogram or bar graph you would traditionally have the frequency on the vertical axis are you in a table you have frequency and then the value frequency means how frequent how many times how many of them the value that has the highest frequency is the mode frequency all right how frequent it is there first drum the first drum is a portion of a cone or pyramid bounded by two faces parallel to the base so you have the base and then you cut off part of the tip of the cone parallel to the base that's a first drum so later date you will meet up on the first drum of a cone and how you calculate the volume of the first drum of a cone function a correspondence in which each member of one set is mapped onto to a member of another set so that's a mapping one to one mapping one to many mapping many to one mapping a correspondence between the each member of the two sets graph a visual representation of data that displays the relationship among variables usually cast along x and y axes histogram a bar graph with no spaces between the bars where the area of the bars is proportional to the corresponding frequencies if the bars have the same width then the height are proportional to the frequencies okay so when you're asked to draw a histogram you join the bars together hypotenuse the side of the right angle triangle that is opposite the right angle it is the longest side of the longest of the three sides right so the hypotenuse 
is that side that is the opposite to the right angle. It doesn't brush against the side of the right angle. It doesn't come near to it like the other two sides. All right. Identity. An equation that is true for every possible values of the variable. For example, x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1, x plus 1 is an identity. That means every value you put for x on this side, when you work it out, put the same value for x on this side, you will get the same answer all the time. x minus 1 equal 3 is not an identity, it is an equation. It is only true if you put positive or negative 2. 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. Negative 2 squared is 4. 4 minus 1 is 3. If you put 5, 5 squared is 25. 25 minus 1 is 24, not 3. So it's not an identity. Right? You have only a limited number that works for it. So it's an equation. With this one up here, this, no matter which number you put in, it is an identity. So it will give you the same answer over here and over here. The identity element of an operation is a number is a number such that when operated on with any other number is results in the other number. So the identity element of an operation is a number such that when operated on by any other number results in the other number. For example, the identity element on the addition of real numbers is zero. That means you add zero to any number, the answer is that same number. All right? It will be that same number. The multiplicative identity is one. You multiply a number by one, the answer is that same number. The identity element on the multiplication of two by two matrices is this one zero zero one the thing is if you multiply I made another two by two matrix by this or multiply this by another two by two matrix you'll get the same matrix so it works like one in number right and it's called a unit matrix inequality a relationship between two quantities indicating that one is strictly less than are less than or equal to the other. All right. It says that one is strictly less than R is less than R is equal to the other. Strictly less than means that you don't have the equal sign. Infinity, the symbol this, the symbol indicating a limitless quantity. For example, the results of a non-zero number divided by zero is infinity. Okay. Integers. A set containing or consisting of the positive and negative whole numbers and zero. Those are integers. Positive, negative, and zero. Intercept. The x-intercept of a graph is the value of x where the curve crosses the x-axis. The y-intercept of a graph is the value of y where the curve crosses the y-axis. And when they say curve, it also includes a straight line. You can technically a straight line, you can call it a curve, right? So wherever it crosses the x-axis is the x-intercept, crosses the y-axis is the y-intercept. Intersection, the intersection of two sets is the set of elements which are common in both sets inverse the inverse of an element under an operation is another element which when operated on with the first element results in the identity for example the inverse of a real number on the addition is a negative of that number that's the additive inverse of 5 is negative 5 the additive inverse of negative 5 is 5 all right Oh, let me say that again. The additive inverse. Right? When you have both 5 and negative 5 added, you get 0. 
the inverse of an element and an operation is another element in which which when operated and with the first element is the identity the additive identity is zero so when you add five and negative five you get zero so the additive inverse of five is negative five and the additive inverse of negative five is five the multiplicative inverse of five is one over five one fifth and the multiplicative inverse of one fifth is five because when you multiply them you get the multiplicative identity of one all right irrational number a number that cannot be expressed as an exact ratio of two integers for example pi or the square root of two you cannot write it as a ratio so it is an irrational number irrational number all right we pause at this point and continue sometime later